Hello everyone, I'm Saipriya, a senior cloud engineer from the innovation team. Let's talk about running OCI automation scripts through Visual Builder Studio using Oracle Cloud Functions. The use case primarily focuses on automating the process of deleting the block volume backups, which are greater than 30 days. After that, we need to configure a trigger to start the build process whenever there are any code changes. We also need to schedule a cron job to invoke the script once a month. We are going to write the code to delete the backups using the OCI Python SDK, set up the CI CD within the Visual Builder Studio to store, deploy, and invoke the function periodically. For the purpose of this demonstration, I went ahead and created block volumes and its backups. Firstly, start a new project or use an existing project within Visual Builder Studio. Create a new repository. Enter the repository name and description. Select the empty repository and hit the Create button. Once the repository is created, copy the following commands and paste in your local terminal. After performing the initial commit, you will go ahead and push these changes to the master branch. Here, we are going to add three files, listbv.py, function.yaml, and requirements.txt. Let's take a look at the code. Here are the import statements for the function, and this is the import statement for OCI Python SDK. A resource principle enables the resources to be authorized to perform actions on OCI services. Each resource has its own identity, and it authenticates using the certificates that are added to it. A signer can be retrieved using OCI auth signer. Then you can pass the signer and call the function to delete block volume backups and store the response in a variable. Here, the list underscore instances function contains the code to delete the block volume backups, which are greater than 30 days. We will use the core services API to manage the block volumes. Create a list and store the name of the block volume and its instance ID available in a specific compartment. We will then go through this list and delete the block volume backups, which was created before 30 days. We will then return the response to the handler. Start using the regular git commands to push the code changes to the repository. Use the git add command to add the changes in the working directory to the staging area. And git commit command to capture the state of the project at that point in time. After that, we will push these changes to the git repository. Now go ahead and refresh the web page to see the changes. Let's go ahead and configure our build in Visual Builder Studio project. Enter the name of the job and select the software template which has Docker and OCI CLI pre-installed. Select the Git repository which you just configured and make sure perform build on SCM commit is checked in order to trigger the build process whenever any code changes have been made. Next, go ahead and configure the steps. Configure the OCI CLI where you need to enter your user OCI ID, fingerprint, tenancy OCI ID, region, and private key. Next step is to log into the Docker registry. Now, we will go ahead and add the function build. Select the verbose output and add the registry host. After performing function build, we will select the FN OCI, add the compartment ID, and the provider as Oracle. Now go ahead and add the step for the function push. The final step is to deploy the function. Here, Mention the application name, select the verbose output, and uncheck do not push. Update the registry host and API URL based on the region. We will now configure the function invoke job. Enter the job name and select the template which has the Docker and OCI CLI configured. Go to the steps and add the OCI CLI configuration. Next, we will log into the Docker. After that, Configure the FN OCI with the compartment ID and provider as Oracle. The final step here is to invoke the function using the Unix shell script. Use the following command to invoke the function. Now go ahead and save the changes. Here, I have also configured a periodic trigger which invokes the function first of each month at 12 am UTC. Now, let's watch the demo. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to go ahead and delete the backups which are less than 30 days. We will now cd into the folder, use the git add command, commit the changes, and push the code. 
Now observe that the build has been triggered and you can verify the logs to make sure that the function has been deployed. We will now manually invoke the delete block volume function. You will observe that the block volume backups have been deleted successfully.